Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jedi Survivor. Last time around, we did a lot of new things, new upgrades. We're back on Kobo, and the robot Z, who we had previously rescued, has been kidnapped. So what we're attempting to do is rescue Z. And uh, we have to see where that is. This is way over here, huh? So what we're going to probably do is fast travel to this uh, meditation point. Which is going to be near where we need to go. Today I'm going to try to make as much story progress as I can. Not to say that I'm not going to be looking for optional stuff. But I do think like we should really focus in as much as we can um, on story advancement. Because I really want to make good progress in the game. I have a bunch of new games coming up within about a week here. And, uh, you know, I definitely want to see how far we can get. So let's see how far we can get with advancement today. Still, the Kubo says, does the game ever explain the great sword stance? Because isn't it just the same lightsaber, but he's acting like it's heavy? Well, he adds what they call a cross guard to it. And I guess the, the cross guard is supposed to be the explanation for it or whatever. That, like, it's so heavy that it changes the properties or something of the sword, I guess. You know, I'm not 100% really understanding it, I guess. <clears throat> um. Oh, it looks like I need to crawl up. To get back there. How would I get up from here? This way. Wow, this looks different. It's nighttime now. This looks totally different at night, doesn't it? Keep in mind, these are the same areas we were before at Kobo. Only now we can go through a green wall that was there previous and we couldn't get through. And now we can air dash as well, which is kind of neat, right? The air dash ability. There were no, nothing green here, right? We already did this puzzle. This is a puzzle we've already completed. Okay. Here we go. Oh, shit! I'm looking. I look at the chat, and that's what happens. He bounced. Dude, this physics are ridiculous. He fucking bounced. Come on. Just want to make sure we got everything here. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, this is the puzzle we solved earlier. Okay. So we're just going through this green door now. All right. All right, Beaver Bother, I'm sorry. I, I tried to be nice. You don't listen. You're out of here. Goodbye. I'm not unbanning you either, so don't bother. Don't bother, Beaver, bo Beaver Bother. Some people just don't listen. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Well, there it is. Whoa. That's a giant structure. Got your mark, I'm coming in. Made it. Anyone spot you? Me? <laughs> Not a chance. How's the volume, everybody? Are you signing the droid? Some kind of service gantry. Could be a way in. It's the best option I can see. Only way to the Luker Hulk is through this swamp. For you, maybe. You want to ride, BD? <laughs> When you're ready, make a move on that gantry. I'll be watching. Copy that. What would he do if his jetpack didn't work? Not to get mud on your face, <laughs> huh? Seriously, he's very confident in technology, is he not? Volume's good? Okay, thank you. To just jump off the edge like that and not be like, oh, there's no problem. <laughs> okay. 
you say so, bro. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, nowhere else to go but straight at this point. Looks like we're gonna go flying. Okay. Here we go. Hard to believe anything could live in this swamp. I guess our friend here makes it work. Like I said, pretty straightforward. Really, Not much you could do here, but just go yes, straight. Someone does live here. Or did once. Oh look, it's our fishing guy. Ah! Oh. Oh, Who it is? Scuba. Dangerous spot to catch a fish. Nay. Scuba scuba. Dangerous fish to catch a sport. Sure. Hey, that one slipped the line. But you. What's he gonna get in this disgusting Stay. sludge? It looks like mud or oil. What? It's solid? It was solid. Eh. Gl glotsum, um, glotsum crab, glotsum crab. Okay. What was it? An Chest over there, by the way. But is it even possible to find any data bag on a planet like this? Well, not new. I bet I could find Winnie one. and Zig. Very kind of you. That's there. There we go. What do we got? We've got the Drifter's outfit. Will it crash the game? I put it on. Ew, it doesn't match the pants at all. Ugh. That totally doesn't match the pants. Hold on. We gotta change his pants. I can zoom. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to find pants that match. None of these color schemes match the pants at all, actually. Look. Or not match the shirt. The shirt's color scheme is kind of weird. Compared to my other clothes. Hunter pants. Here we go. We'll wear this. There you go. What do you got, BD? What? <clears throat> Crashed vulture droid right here. And then up there you can see there's platforming we can't do yet because we can't interact with those little balloon things yet. I think eventually we'll be able to. But not yet, so that's kind of optional. This too, we can't do anything with these red platforms yet. Maybe eventually we move this somewhere. Oh. What's he got? Another scan. Okay. Swaggo Needles is something blue and tan. Uh, what did I pick? I don't even know what I picked. Oh, no. Oh, I should have jumped. Oh, I'm screwed. I really should have jumped. This is bad. Please get... Okay, I got it. <laughs> that was very bad. Liza Rasol did a super chat. Says, have you eaten sliced cucumber with Taijin Shinoi, Charnoy, and Valentine hot sauce? It's amazing. No. I'm going to go with no. I have not. I think cucumber goes well with a lot of different things, but I've never had it with that combination. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it here. Let's find out. Ready? Yeah, I'll make it. But now I have no idea where to go. Oh, he wants to scan. Oh, what's this? I made a shortcut. Oh, wow. Did we just skip the whole island? I think we did. I don't think we should have done that. I feel like we skipped the whole island. And there's stuff up top that we want to do before we move on. So I guess we should go back. All right. So who Check is this? this place out. Hello. Who are you? Cal, what are you doing out here? I could ask you the same question, Zig. Zig. 
I came out here to look for Z. Yeah, me too. Ahem, and I am Winnie Edes. Gal, was it? We've only just met, but I could use some assistance. Oh, great. What do you need? I was told there's a bird in this swamp that spots a resplendent plumage. But when I tried to get a closer look at one, it snatched my data pad and flew away. Where'd it go? They've got a nest at the top of a spire nearby. I'd go, but Winnie here says I gotta stay by her side. Yes, yes, that spire there. It's so close, yet so far. And I'll see what I can do. You shine like the stars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a Coruscant saying. Perhaps a more simple. Thank you, Carl. Okay. So, help Zig in the swamp. But we'd have to find a way to climb a spire, and I don't know if we can just climb it or not. Uh, because I don't know if we have the ability. It might have to do with those little balloon things. I guess we'll take a look, but I think uh, we might be limited and not be able to do this yet. Maybe later. <clears throat> this which spire? See, I think that's what she's talking about. That spire there. Without the ability to climb the balloons, I think we're stuck. It's a stormtrooper head on a droid's body. Okay, then. What do we got here? A memory? Mm-hmm. How much do you think this is worth? Nothing's worth crossing the Raiders. Now move. Still, the Kubo says, I feel like the previous game had a more focused story. Do you agree? I definitely feel like this one is more towards, like, kind of hopping around and, and retreading steps and stuff like that, for sure. But at the same time, I mean, this story is pretty coherent. It's just <clears throat> you're not in the same location constantly, right? Hmm. So I guess we're going to try this. I don't really see another way to go, right? You can't really... Maybe over here? Can you climb this? Oh, maybe, maybe you can climb this. Hold on. Okay, there's where they are. What is it? Wait a minute. Is that a save point? It's a save point I can't reach, it looks like. See that? Because you need to be able to move that platform in the, in the that platform down there in the in the mud. You have to like lift it, and you I guess you can't lift it. Hmm. Tyler, taking off. We'll be back. All right. See you later, Tyler. See you when you when you get back. So what do we got up here? Another thing I can't do. What the heck? What is this? Why are there certain like rocks I can't move? It's so weird. There's anything here. Right? I mean, there's more out there, but we can't get to it yet. And there's the save point, and we can't reach the save point yet either. So, I guess we just, uh, we follow this zip line that we unlocked and see where it takes us. Ready? Let's see what happens here. What? Just grab the zip line, you dunce. What? What? This is stupid. He's an idiot. Throw me stem, bud. That was close. This is incredibly dumb. They're going to make me go all the way back because the game is designed so stupidly. Yeah. I had to do that. How dumb is that? That's pretty dumb. Okay, time to do some platforming. You ever been in a ship this big before, buddy? Been a long time for me. I'm not looking forward to it. It's easy in there. We're not leaving without her. So it's a giant ship that we need to infiltrate. Uh... 
There we go. I'm curious if there's somewhere to go up there. There is not. I thought maybe there'd be an optional thing hidden up there, but nope. Looks pretty straightforward. What about this way? Anything optional here? Uh, no, don't see anything. Okay. Damn, he got home. So much for these guys. They get shot killed in two hits now. Beautiful. Here we're gonna have our shortcut. Feeling better. Nice. And we go all the way back. See that? Cool. All right. Before we proceed. I received uh, a dollar fifty tip here. Now Beaver Bother is apologizing. I only just tuned back in. I didn't know about the cherries. Oh my God, Beaver Bother! Beaver Bother, how many times do I have to like? Do I have to make an exception for you? This would be like number three, number four, right? Seriously, why do I have to keep making exceptions for you? Everyone else is abiding by the rules, right? Like, oh my god, man. <sighs> really upsetting. It is. It's very upsetting. Because not only do I have to run a nice stream for everyone, apparently I also have to be like a fucking a babysitter, a dad. You know. I wasn't aware that I had to do these things just because I play video games on the internet. I thought I could just enjoy video games, but I guess not. It's unbelievable. There you are. Ready to liberate one slightly eccentric High Republic droid? Yeah. You? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Alright. We got our new save point. Let's... I don't want perks. I wanted to fast... Or, no. I wanted to rest. Why am I... I'm gonna brain fart. Okay. Alright. Yes, guys. Please, no spamming. Ready? Disgusting Always. detractor memes and stuff. I guess the cherry was the latest one. Someone explained to me what it was. I was grossed out, and I'm like, no, we're not doing that. So it's not allowed, guys. Ah, I pushed it right into him. Goodbye, what a nice animation. Dude, that deflection is so sick now that I upgraded it. I was built for this. Not dead? What the? He got all his thing back? That's ridiculous. That's whole meter back. Not such a warm welcome. There we go. I guess knocking isn't an option. We'll find our own way. I guess a platform is somewhere else. Think you can break that coupling? Let's find out. What's in there? What's in the cage? When in doubt. That's gonna let us, I guess, platform across over there. Ah, oh. anything else over here before we go there? Yeah, he wants to scan. What's he scanning? Okay. Anything over here? Anything hidden in the sludge? Uh. Oh, this is solid. Oh, never mind. Shit. Thought it was solid. Wait a minute, he won't move! 
Are you kidding? I can't get out. I'm serious. They won't let me grab this platform I was just standing on. <laughs> that was a pretty bad level design right there if I've ever seen bad design. I mean, what the frick was that? <laughs> He's having, oh, he wants to scan this down. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> okay. This is where we came from. Yep. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. So we're going to cross this way to the right. I love how the camera got stuck, so I couldn't see where I was going. It's delightful. Pretty dumb. Instant kill. Damn. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that. So that that slash immediately removes his entire guard with That'll one slash, you. right? Pretty good. I wonder how many more stances there are in the game, but this one is so badass. I don't know if I'm ever going to change it. it is the so short crazy. goatee. Now, hold on. Uh, we changed it to the short goatee. There it is. <clears throat> Not as long as the other one. Jade, that's totally fine if you don't care about Star Wars. You just want to chill and talk. Okay. Soldier of Retro says, Trade Federation grunts are up there with, like, the Power Ranger putties. Most, useful hench or most useless henchmen ever. Sure seems that way, doesn't it? I received a $30 tip from Haseo, who says, I just want to stop by, say hi to everyone. I'm going to watch these videos later when they go live on YouTube. Haseo, thank you so very much. What a nice uh, gesture. A $30 tip. Even though you're not going to be here to watch, thank you so very much. Let's get you on the leaderboard, because indeed you are the biggest contributor tips-wise today. <clears throat> so thank you so much for that. We are a mere $2 away from the Gunner Glasses today on stream. All right. Am I enjoying the plot? The plot is interesting. Although, you know, admittedly with so much gameplay, sometimes it can be hard to remember what the plot is. Especially because of this jointed, disjointed nature of the game. If you're not always constantly doing plot. You may forget exactly what it is that you were, you were doing, right? Look what I found. A priorite shard all the way up there. Wow, I figured there would be a reason to, to climb up there. Okay. Jesus, I love Star Wars, but all the bugs and the frame rate makes me sick. Yeah, I hear ya. Look, even right now it just dipped. It literally just dipped as you said that, too. Jeez. See, now we can platform like crazy all over the place. I'm wondering... How much we couldn't do earlier that now we could really platform like you know, all over the place right. to get optional stuff. But you just seem happier now that she's around. Okay, let's focus. Z needs us. So I guess we could go that way? Yup. Look if we can go that way. Wait, isn't that where we came from? Well, I guess this is a, a way to go back if we wanted to, but obviously we don't want to go back. That would be pretty stupid. Okay. So this is gonna be a higher up area. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yes, we weren't able to reach this before. Cool. All righty. You know, I broke into a freighter on the nab once. Yeah? Any tips? No. It was nothing like a Luker Hulk. Not sure why I even mentioned it. Could you clear this up? Absolutely. Wait, what? He shot where the electricity was going, not where it was coming from, and it stopped it entirely. <laughs> Is that really how electricity works? Uh, I don't think that's how it works, actually. I think you would have had to stop the source of the electricity. Not where it was striking, but... Uh, okay, whatever. Suspend your disbelief. Maybe in the world of Star Wars, electricity works differently. Perhaps. I mean, why not, right? 
How are you doing? Off the edge. Those crudes are arguing? It happens more than you think. <laughs> yes, indeed. No wonder they lost. Come on, let's go. Okay, so a couple things to do here. I've got some shout outs. First of all, I received a $20 tip. And indeed, it is I suspected it is from One Minute Man. Thank you to One Minute Man for your daily support of all of my content here on YouTube. A generous $20 tip, and that'll get us up to our first tips goal of the day. Six, now we're at 68. So it's time for the gun of glasses. And now we are on our way to the hat goal. By the way, some people had asked, would the Ryu headband be eligible for a hat? And the answer is absolutely yes. The Ryu headband is comfy. So if to, as of today, if you guys wanted to add the Ryu headband to the rotation of hats, I'd would do that for you. In fact, today if we hit the hat goal, let's do the Ryu headband. Let's do the straw hat. Let's do the beret. And let's do the fake hair hat. Those will be the four hats for today. If we had $100 on this stream. And thank you to anyone, again, who supports the stream. I appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. Yes, the Luffy hat. Luffy. Oh, we also hit 100 likes. I wasn't even looking, and I looked over, and we've hit 100 likes. So hold on while I set this up, because I did not yet set this up for today. You know, we're fresh off the podcast. It's time for a rip-roaring, rousing, celebratory bubble blow here on DSP Gaming. Thank you all very, very much for the engagement and support so far today. I really appreciate it. Have some bubbles. Oh, yeah. And they explode everywhere and make a giant mess. How nice. How nice. I'll clean that up later. I'm not in the mood to clean it up right now. It goes everywhere. Very good. Remember, we'll, we do that every 100 likes. We also do that when we hit the members goal for the day. So. All right. So we're in a large, defunct ship. Was that a way to run down there, too? It might have been, but I don't know where it would have gone. So I didn't really bother with it. There we go. Oh. Uh, what? Soldier of Retro says the bubbles will mutate in my room and swarm me live on stream. So I'm going to have sentient bubbles that are going to take over my stream, apparently. That's, Miss me, BD? that's another disturbing thought. I don't know where you guys come up with this stuff. <clears throat> no, that was not a thing to run on down there, I don't think. Oh, look what we got up there. A green uh, shield. Oh, look. So we don't know what these blue things are as of yet. You see that? Um, once we figure that out, Maybe it'll do something to activate and we can go up there. Right now, it doesn't look like we'd be able to get... Oh, wait. Yes, we can. If we wall run, we can get across. So it looks like we need to find a way to get up over there. Um, but I don't know what that blue thing is yet. Oh, you know what? That probably turns off the white force field. See that? Let's save... Oh, shit. Oops. Well, let's save. Just look at this place. Rest up. Looks like there's a bunch of things to do, huh? This door's not gonna open. That'd be too easy. Exactly. Well, it's always worth the shot. <clears throat> we got a workbench, but we just changed our lightsaber last time, so we won't do that. This door is not gonna. Open. Oh. That seems like where we need to go, right? Nope, 
We can't get up here. That's no go. This seems like a shortcut down. This is where we already were. Oh, okay. It just looped back down. I see. Yeah, Jade, I don't know why the Mortal Kombat pre-order bonuses are always uh, an additional boss character. Maybe that's just something that they that, that they go with every time people like it. I don't know. <clears throat> but, uh... It seems to work, no? I think what it is is that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They tried it with every single one so far. If it worked, then just keep doing it. Uh, this is bad because now I can't use this elevator. Or do I do this? There we go. So this was the elevator we saw before. So, oh, it doesn't work, but now it works. So that's a shortcut. Okay. Cool. So we're going to go up there, but we have to take out these guys first, I'm assuming. And then we'll find a way to climb up and kind of get across. Wow, that was bad. Graphical judder right there. You saw that? The jitter. So Lice Result did a super chat talking about Chun-Li's fat thighs, but no one cares. But thank you for the super chat regardless. And then Matthew did a super chat. It's Alan Wake 2 releases October 17th. Alan Wake and Alan Wake 2 looks like Jake Gyllenhaal and John Wick to me. Uh, are you going to play Metal Gear Solid, Delta Snake Eater, The Talos Principle 2? Probably all of those. And actually, the Alan Wake you're seeing is actually the original actor of Alan Wake. He's the guy who actually did play the character in the first game. He does kind of look like Jake Gyllenhaal, actually. Okay. Thank you for the super chat. Matthew, thank you all for your support so far today. You guys have been awesome in that regard. Oh, shit. some hostiles. Let's go, let's go. Broadsword time. Zoop! Damn, that is such a good ability. Damn, he got owned. Like I said, this this broadsword is so good for combat, man. Somehow. Alright. What about there? Never doubt it. Aha. Keep going. I'll scout her out. Sure there are no surprises. Nothing here. Be careful. Nope. Okay. What do I think has been the main winning technique I've found in the game so far? Oh, man. It's, it's a good combination of factors. Using your force push and pull is good against certain enemies. Um, I've definitely enjoyed the pinball-style bouncing lightsaber attack with the dual saber. And now with this cross, this cross saber, as they call it. I call it the broad saber because it's like a big broad sword. But I guess they call it the cross saber. <clears throat> it just seems to be the strongest for overall combat for me. giant sweeping attacks that break the guard and everything. It just seems really good. Alright, looks like we're going to have to do some timed stuff. Here we go. Easy. Easy peasy. Now, there was something down there. Did you see that? Do you think there's hidden items down there? Because isn't it weird that it showed a way to get back up? What it, maybe that's just if you fall, but I'm going to try it anyway. What the fuck? Seriously with this bullshit? Anything hidden down? There is something hidden over here. Look. I can't reach it. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. That's definitely something there, but I can't reach it from here. It sucks. It looks like maybe a sequence breaker. It looks like if you can get over there, you actually, like, speed ahead. But I don't think there's a way for me to get over there. You can't wall run here. So I don't think I can get over there. Look. Darn. It's, like, right there, too. Lanuli, you're absolutely correct. He says, So recently I went back. I started watching some of your Breath of the Wild playthrough. And then I looked at the comments. Now, keep in mind, when I played Breath of the Wild in 2017, 
This was actually just before I turned off YouTube comments for several years. And he says, man, I totally understand why you turned off those comments if you weren't able to moderate them properly. Yeah, I mean, I'm one guy. Every time I upload a video, I can't just sit there for days on end monitoring and micromanaging every comment. And these people were literally going there just, like just to be absolutely disgusting. Like over the top levels of gross, racist stuff, sexist stuff, really nasty stuff to ruin the content. And there's not much I could do about it. I'm not, like I said, I can't just sit there and monitor it all day. I'm not gonna have a team of people who I'm gonna pay to freaking do it, you know what I mean? So what happened was it got so bad at one point, my fans just said, could you just turn off all comments? We'd rather have no comments than the insane amount of disgusting comments that are happening on your videos, so I did. And that was for about two plus years we did that. And then uh, YouTube instituted new protections so that you can actually have comments that don't show like that, and that's what we got now, so. Look at this guy. Zoop! You trying to stop me? I don't think that's going to work. Oh, yes. How did that miss? He's an inch in front of me. Lock that. He has no head. <laughs> oh, split him in half. Could use some help, buddy. Great timing. Anything new here? Nope. Dead end, right? Yep. Okay. So much for him. It's good to have you here on the stream, Jade. I'm sorry you don't, you're not liking Star Wars. But, well, not that you're not liking it, but you can't really watch it that much because of the freaking frame rate problems. I know, man. It's bullshit. Jeez. Oh, uh, that would have killed him. A piece of metal would have went right to his body and murdered him. All right, I guess we're going across. Ready? <clears throat> Cannot climb there, okay. Yeah, see, we absolutely would have sequence broken if we could have gone down there. I think it would have broken what we were doing. There's a white the white door area we can't open yet. So you can't it's too far down. If I drop down, they're gonna say fall damage. <clears throat> so that's where we're headed though. Hello X Shooter, how are you today? What's the most annoying enemy types of stealthy Koopa? Ooh. The most annoying enemy in the whole game? Probably not a normal enemy. Probably that stupid Ogdo Bogdo optional boss. That was pretty crazy. Alright, so here we are. Where can I drop and not take insane amounts of fall damage? Oh, examine? What's that? Examine. I could conquer a whole planet with this. No. It's a small force. It's not a whole planet's worth. Here we go. Stay alert. We have reports of hostiles in the area. We're under attack. Ready for battle. Keep this area locked down. Whatever Ravis is up to, it's strong to fall on it. Shut up. Did we shoot him? Finish him. Suck on your own grenade. Oh, he dodged it. Wow, this guy evades like crazy. Finally got him. He was evading like like back and forth all over the place. Shit knows we're here now, huh? So, okay, there's two ways to go. But we can't go in this one because it's a white force field. We don't have the ability to pass through white force fields. Okay, gotta go the other way. Can't reach over there. I think that that's just scenery over there. I don't think there's actually anything over there. It's just, you know, for the setting. There's trolls in the chat. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Not trolls. Anything but trolls. 
Yes, you know, it happens. Sadly, there's trolls. They exist. There's multiple ways to go. That's the shortcut. Okay, we've unlocked the shortcut. So now we can go here and we can rest up and then come back. Do we need to rest up? I mean, yeah, I guess we could. All right, let's rest up. Then we'll go back this way. Wow, that frame rate's atrociously bad right there. Ugh. Thank you, Radical Jaws, for a super sticker of a unicorn. There you go. Let's rest up. And a couple tips have come in as well that I would like to shout out. Let's get Radical Jaws on the leaderboard for the latest super chat. <clears throat> okay. Um, two tips have come in. First tip is a $6.66 tip from Radical Jaws. So I'm excited for Street Fighter VI. This will actually be my first time trying to get good at a fighting game, and I don't think anything will come of it, but I have seen some recent stuff that comes from there. Recently, someone in the Smash community... Wait, what? Someone in the Smash community shit-talked a 15-year-old and the mom ratioed the idiot on Twitter. Great. Sometimes it's funny to see that, but I'm happy you aren't part of that crap anymore. Have a great day, and I'm hoping for a Game of the Year-style experience from Street Fighter VI. Well, I think we all are. We all want this game to, to be great. After Street Fighter V, sadly being a huge disappointment for a lot of people, me, me being pri one of the primary people, I really hope Street Fighter VI is a much better experience. Thank you, Radical Jaws. And then, got another, uh, another tip here. Liam tipped me $5.93. Don't know what the exact amount is for. He says, I love your content. Well, thank you, Liam. I, I love having you. For the content. I'm glad that you're enjoying the content and thank you for your supporting it as well. So that gets us up to 79 bucks. We are on our way to a hat. Like I said, today it will be the Ryu headband, the beret, the straw hat, and the uh fake hair hat. Those will be the ones in the running. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go back. No, I don't want to use... Oh, you got to be kidding me. They're forcing me to do it. Oops. Bitch. I mean, it's a nice shortcut all the way back down to the bottom, but I have no desire to go back down to the bottom. Now I have to fight these guys? For real? I guess not. I have played many of the Soul Calibur games over the years. Indeed, I have. Uh, and they're good games. Little Lee says you think they would have fixed the performance issues by now? I don't think they're ever going to. I don't think they care at this point. Like, if they were going to fix it, it would have been fixed. You know what I'm saying? Like, they wouldn't have waited this long. It's been almost a month since the game's been out. So, they're not going to be fixed. Just, I guess we just have to put up with it if we're going to play the game. That's what I mean. Like, I, I bought the whole game. I don't want to waste my, my money. Nor your time. So I guess, I guess we're going to play it this way and deal with it. Why did I just get a skill point? Damn, what just happened? There's an invader on the other side. Open it now. Uh. Fix it. Or I will have you scrapped for parts. Oh, I see. Oh, that's bad. Oh, you can air dash into these guys. That's kind of cool. Take them down. I'm trying to dodge and they're just pinballing me everywhere. All I wanted to do was dodge, but he kept he kept getting stuck in other animations. Thank you to Blastoise91 for a super sticker of an anthropomorphic pear. With it looks like a coffee in his hand. So now by the way, I just lost that level that I just earned. I lost it. Because I just equipped the new ability where you lose your levels if you if you die. So I don't have it anymore. I actually lost the whole skill point. Yep. I forgot about that. Except I dodged and still didn't anyway. He's getting stupid, like I can't heal her anymore. Look. Hey B, 
They're stuck. They can't follow me. You see this? They can't follow me. Fuck her dog. I'm slow. That's the problem. Like, I'm trying to do the move that would beat them. But I'm slow, and I get interrupted like crazy. Don't have it now. Finally! Must be both. Locked. I like how it didn't show as unblockable until he was already committed to the repair. Little help. Killed it from behind. Good to see you in one piece. This is another shortcut we opened? It is? From where? Oh, we open this door now. Okay. So let's sit again and then go through this door. Okay, cool. And by the way, I just received another tip. Focus. Wait, I got my skill back? How? I'm supposed to lose skills with these perks that I had. I have no idea how I got my skill back, but apparently I did. Extended hold is three skill points. Ooh -hooey. Or two for that. Alright, we can't do it yet. Alright. I received a $21 tip from Lisa Liu. Street Fighter 6 graphics remind me of Fortnite for some reason. Probably just me. It's funny. <clears throat> Street Fighter 6 graphics looks so much better than Street Fighter 5. If you go look at Street Fighter 5, every character looked like a weird, ultra deformed, um, just oddball, like, I don't even know what they were going for. They look like Claymation Fighter or something. It just looks bu bizarre. Um, and a lot of people were like, oh, they liked that. Like, I don't know why you would like that. It's terrible, right? Anyway, thank you because of that tip, Lisa Liu. Um, we have now hit the hat goal. So let's do a, uh, a, a pull for the hat. Here we go. Jade says he'd like to see the, the blue vest and Luffy hat today. Which hat is Star Wars best? Well, the options for the hat are the straw hat, the beret, the Ryu headband, or what was the other one? Oh, the fake hair hat. Those will be your options for today. So please vote. Let's see what you guys vote for. As for the vest, we got a ways to go to get to the vest. Thank you, Blastoise, for the super sticker. Let me get you on the leaderboard, too, while we're breaking this up here. Thank you, Blastoise. Okay. Cool. All right, so we're going to save this up, and we rest it up. Now, there was another way to go that we skipped. This is the way to advance, but I think there was a way over here that we didn't do yet. Blow up. This way. I got it. It was a prior eye shot. Okay. Look, they seriously can't step past there. Wow, wow. That's pretty stupid, huh? Well, they came with a He killed himself! I love it. Can I do it to this guy, too? Oh, you 
Oh, I can't heal. Are you kidding me? Our victory cannot be stopped. I'll never give in. Not today. He won't die. He seriously wouldn't die. Like, jeez. All right, we got him. So all it was was a priorite shard. Not exactly the best, highest priority thing. Let's go over here. Guys, could you shut... I'm going to say it right now. Shut up in the chat about trolls. I'm playing a game I'm enjoying. You're the ones who are derailing the chat by talking about it. How are, is it 2023? How do you not know yet? The best way to stop a troll is to fucking ignore them and not give them attention. If you're going to sit here and talk about it non-stop, I'm just going to take every single one of you out of the chat so we can enjoy the game. Shut up about it. Like, what are you, four years old? Shut up. You're really pissing me off. Like, how do you not understand that talking about it constantly derails everything, right? It doesn't make any sense at all. So just shut up about it. Holy shit. Yikes, man. Like, again, I don't want to be a dad. I don't want to be a fucking babysitter. I'm trying to play Star Wars. Jesus. Oh, man. And I'm sorry to anyone who's trying to sit here and enjoy and behave. You gotta put up with this nonsense. Today. They're just being stupid. Wait, you hear that? Destroyer droids. Perfect. That was the wrong button. Damn, double kill. I think that's all of them. A beautiful I double kill. Was with my master during the clone Very wars. nice. I froze. He had to take them out. Look at you now. Bet he'd be proud. Hope so. Alright. Thank you, Casanova. Yeah, day off yesterday was alright. It was a real relaxing day with uh, with Kat, so it was good. Soldier of Retros, I like how the enemies you encounter argue with each other beforehand. It's the writers. Uh, basically trying to put that kind of stuff into the game. It makes it feel more real, that's for sure. Instead of the just standard doing nothing like a lot of enemies in games, right? Hostiles! Oh. So... You know she didn't just join to find Tantalor, right? Don't know what you're talking about. Whatever you say, Cal. Huh. <laughs> this thing's got your name all over it. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we have here. The, the Luker Hulk Core. I think it is inside. <clears throat> Let me get a closer look. Yeah, Z. Where does it go? We're in the control tower. And that's our target. I see a problem down there. Cal, you see that? No. What are you talking about? Droids. We've seen worse. How's that a problem? Check out Just a bunch of droids. ATs. I've got a plan. Okay. Hey. Cow, to the right, see that? So I figure I make some noise, draw them away, you slip by. Those? Regroup at the turbo lift. Okay. What do you think? It's risky. We passed risky a while back. Good luck. You too. Oh. We go through there? I guess so. We're gonna do this first. A little optional uh, echo, sense echo. All right. The ship won't fly, but there's a hangar full of craft. An army, all ours, ready to scour this planet for my lost master. Ravis, from earlier, the big hulking dude, right? Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. He was supposed to pass through. <laughs> that was weird. What signal? 
Okay, what on earth happened? I don't even know where I am. I guess I was supposed to drop down here. I didn't realize it. I guess. Dude, the frame rate is so bad. Can't do anything with this? What? Uh, what's going on? Why? Oh, there's an elevator. Okay. Another shortcut? Another shortcut and a door that doesn't open. So this is a new area now. Yeah, we haven't been here yet, right? This is brand new. Okay. I need to clear my mind. This is the Luger Hulk Core Meditation Point. Good place to split the part, I think. Lino Lee says, I've been feeling since the PC version is the worst. EA has just been focusing on fixing that, but mostly ignored fixing consoles. It sure seems that way. They did two patches. Both were launch week. And that was almost a month ago. Since then, they haven't really tried at all. And this game has run like utter shit. On Look at this. Look how bad that frame rate. Are you kidding me? That's like 10 frames per second right there. Oh my god. I don't know, man. <laughs> wow. Of course it doesn't open. But we do have an optional mem mem memory here. All right. Good. Soon you will serve a new master. This voice actor is familiar to me. I've heard this guy in other things. I think cartoons or something before. Casanova says you're not missing much with Lego 2K Drive. It's very simple. Nothing amazing. A good, a good time killer. I see. Well, thank you for sharing. All right. Let's put the part. We'll continue on here.